Hello and welcome subscribers, followers and members to this YouTube blog update. Please go follow, subscribe, like our page and join our group. Links to do this will be in the description below this blog. Will be posted in the description below this blog. Thanking key workers like the NHS and public sector, my bus drivers, coach drivers and the NHS staff who are working to get us through this pandemic. Events. The Thames Valley Thames Valley 101st running day has been cancelled due to be due to being in stage three lockdown measures. We uh, we attended on the 30th of June 2021 at Farnborough International Airport. We attended an an, an event. There's more to come on that in a second. Uh, so, the Thames Valley 101st running day has been cancelled due to being in stage 3 lockdown and um, that's yet to have a date we announced for that. Um, hopefully, we should be hearing from the Thames Valley and Great Western on the bus trust um, maybe within months maybe within weeks but we'll, we'll see um, but other than that that's that one's been cancelled we also attended an, an event on the 30th of June at Farnborough International Airport um, with ITT Hub and um, I will be telling you more about that in stage 5 and um, we also attended an, an event on the 29th of June and we'll be telling you about that in stage 6 and um, so other than that um, just a quick update on Facebook uh, about uploading my photos. Uh, from now on, if I have more than 500 photos to upload, um, because I like to take motorway shots, if, um, if I have, and tend to show my mistakes and stuff, um, if I have more than 500 photos from now on, I will be uploading them just to Flickr and then I will post a link in the page, page, group, uh, blogspot and on my Facebook profile for friends to go and view the photos from events I have attended. Um, so so that will happen from now on if I have more than 500 to upload um, due to Facebook uh, being a little bit slow but I will also upload an album to Facebook but I will choose like the best photos to upload for that <clears throat> okay um, event cancellations for more reli reliable on event information, please go to www.classicbuses.co.uk um, because they are more reliable than me because um, I only have events that I'm attending or you know um, or they plan to attend and then if the weather turns horrible then may not attend so so um, for more reliable source than me, please go to www.classicbuses.co.uk and um, they, update, they update every so often when an event has been cancelled and they are more reliable than myself. Uh, ITT, ITT Hub Expo on the 30th of June 
The event was excellent. It was great to be able to get out and not sit in the office straight home trying to come up with things to do. The event was excellent. It was great to see people looking around all the different vehicles like lorries, co uh, lorries, buses and uh, and maybe one coach was there as well. Um, so that was good. Um, to see people actually looking around and stuff. Uh, so yeah. Um, event was excellent. It was great to see people looking at all the different vehicles they had on display inside and outside. Dotty and I looked around pretty much everything that was there on display, and someone even offered the chance to sit in the cab of a bus that was on display there. Funny enough, it was a Utah bus. Which I'm quite a big fan of the Yutong at the moment. I, I love Yutong. You know, um, so the bus that was there is going to Stagecoach Midlands up in Leamington. And um, it was was really excellent. Really, really excellent. And well worth, well worth the travel up there. Um, so yeah, that was, that was another good point about the show, um, which I really enjoyed, as it is going to be in operation in Leamington Spa as a shuttle bus. It was also good to see some trade stands there and seeing so many different transportations in one location. So yeah. There wasn't just buses, there wasn't just lorries, there was also like these little uh, tram things. There were not little uh, buggy things and um, forklifts and stuff. It was, a, as you can tell from the photos on my Flickr, there was also forklifts there. That was actually quite excellent. It was a actually really good um, to see so many different transportations there and so many people from different companies attending the show um, and also they had conferences there that you could attend um, like you could go and see um, I think there was one about photography if I remember rightly um, there was also other different conferences going on throughout the day and that was that was really excellent especially for people that are in limited companies and um, that was actually quite excellent for them to um, a be able to meet up with colleagues from other companies and hopefully get more ideas on what's what's new, what's coming out and um, what new fuel um, and electrics are being created for these companies to um, use in their fleet or or anything else. So yeah, that, so that was that was excellent as well and um, it was also handy to have a shuttle bus from like the Wild Farnborough main station to to the actual show because uh, that is like a long walk from the, from the station to Farnborough airport whereas the shuttle bus only took about seven minutes so that was that was excellent. So yeah, it was an excellent trade show for what it was. Um, it was a little bit like Euro bus and bus and coach, um, but um, the actual 
ITT hub um, was more than just buses and coaches. It was uh, looking at different industries and um, helping different industries as as well. So that was actually quite interesting to see. Um, moving on, um, because I could talk about that all day if I, if I had the opportunity. Uh, Brooklyn's Bus and Transport Museum I attended. Brooklyn's Bus and Transport Museum on the 27th of June for their summer gathering of On the Buses event. Um, the event was excellent, even though due to COVID-19 coronavirus restrictions, they had timed ticket slots, which, in my opinion, was not too bad. I do wish I had booked an earlier time slot, but the time slot that I had was, was pretty much okay, as I spent the first hour of the event at Waybridge Station photographing the arriving buses and coaches to the event and the short buses that were being used on the event. The weather was meant to be raining for some some of the day, but luckily it held off till about 3, 4 o'clock. Um, so yeah, that was actually really good. Um, they held off till a little bit later on. Um, so that made the event even more enjoyable. The event was was really good. There may not have been as many people there as what was intended, but that was, um, in my opinion, it was really excellent because um, you didn't really have too many fire bombers um, and stuff. You didn't have people walking in the way, so so the arriving time slots weren't too bad and um, I um, didn't manage to pho photograph the Yutong they had on show there very well inside the museum but what I might do is attend uh, try and book a time slot through when I've got got some free time, try and book a time slot to go up there and probably try and photograph inside the museum um, when it's a little bit less crowded maybe and maybe when there's not an event on so then I can photograph it just a little bit better um, and also so that it so that it helps with, um, I can then just photograph it and take my time and stuff where I won't have a time limit. Um, but with the, with the time slots on at Waverly to Brooklands, um, once you've booked your time slot, you can actually stay there for as long as you like. So. So there's no time limit there, but I just mean um, because I had to, because uh, I was on like a trip with other people, um, it, I had to leave by about 4.30, so I just wanted to, but I still enjoyed the museum because the museum was actually really excellent and it always has been for events like buses and coaches like that but uh, there wasn't so many there this year but but hopefully now things are starting to open up a bit we can start slowly getting back to normal um, which I think we'll be doing shortly because he's due to make an announcement today so Hopefully, very soon, we'll all be back to normal. Uh, photos from these events will be posted in the newsletter. Um, and they have been added to our Flickr. 
and will choose a selection of some will be added to Facebook and Instagram. So yeah, because there's too many fares to be added to our Facebook, what we'll do is we'll just choose some photos, maybe up to about 100, um, and, and maybe 10 each on Instagram, and just um, post them that way. So, but you can go to our main website on Flickr, and then you can have a look through the album. And funnily enough, uh, the photos from Brooklyn has had uh, over 200 views, which was, which is really good. So please keep, keep looking and stuff. And um, yeah, I think that's all I've got to update you on at the moment. So, um, but like I say, for any event cancellations more reliable than me, uh, please go to www.classicbuses.co.uk and please don't forget to check out our blog spot at www.garysbusandcoachphotosbarkshire.blogspot.com and uh, um, we do tend to blog on there every so often. So uh, just make sure to keep an eye out and everything. And uh, we will. And before we go, um, I didn't put this in here. Um, just an update. Uh, the next event we do plan to attend is on the 25th of July, um, down at Worthing Seafront. Um, we are hoping to be there. Um, if the event doesn't get cancelled, um, but I shouldn't do because he's, he's due to make an announcement today. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be at the event on the 25th of July. And um, all being well, um, that should be quite a good event by the seafront for people just to enjoy the day and hopefully uh, everything else. Uh, thanks for watching this blog. We will see you in the next blog. In the next blog. On blog. When, I do not know when. Uh, but this will be announced when uploaded. So please make sure to subscribe and pin the notification bell on. From us all at Gary's Plus and Coach Photos. We'll see you in the next blog. When I do not know, that's why click on the subscribe button and press the notification bell. Um, but we'll see you in the next blog. And uh, have a good day. Thank you.